Hey, quick video. Just wanted to say thank you to uh, the viewers out there that gave me the tip on the Defender shotgun. I had an issue with the feeding. The shells were just being ejected right out the bottom, not chambering properly. And a couple of you suggested just to get a new trigger group on eBay. That's exactly what I did. And now the shotgun works fine. Uh, so <clears throat> before it gets dark out, uh, we'll run a quick transition drill. If I'm running, if I'm doing a security gig uh, as a PPSB qualified uh, armed security officer for North Carolina, this is going to be my gear. All right, a pump action shotgun. I like to put a flashlight on it. Um, this this particular model is very very reliable, and uh, I run a duty rig, a gun belt with uh, a heavy double action revolver, distinguished combat magnum, plus model, seven shot. Four inch barrel Packmeyer grips. Uh, I'll run a speed loader carrier leather. I've got two extra speed loaders loaded with the heavier uh, grain. Um, I've got an IFAC here, which is a individual first aid kit. Always carry a flashlight and a Gerber tool as needed. Um, I think that at the bare minimum, that's what you should be running on a gun belt uh, if you're running security or just for home defense. Um, or in a situation where you need to have extra firepower. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna set this drill up. Okay, I run my shotguns cruiser ready. So uh, the hammer is down, safety off, nothing in the chamber, and uh, rounds would be inside of the magazine tube. Uh, but this particular drill, I'm just gonna practice a completely empty shotgun and load it from the shell holder as quickly as we can engage those targets and then transition to the revolver all right so here we go and we'll start and i like to sling my shotguns weak side muzzle down as opposed to strong side muzzle up all right you could do both but for shotguns i, pers I prefer weak side muzzle down so here we go All right, load it up. We're about 20 yards away from these targets. It's getting dark out, but should probably switch to a flashlight technique. But uh, let's go ahead and switch guns here. Duty weapon, awesome duty weapon right here. Highly recommended. <clears throat> All right, it's getting dark out. Uh, from concealment, we'll run the Model 66 the Combat Magnum. Great gun. K-frame versus L-frame. <clears throat> this points better, but you feel the magnums a lot more through this gun. So here we go. Now look, when we're doing flashlight techniques, FBI technique, I come out here, turn the flashlight on and off, all right? And that way my threat uh, may not know exactly where I am in order to put accurate rounds on target. I can still engage from an FBI technique, but the preferred method for engagement is a Harry's, where I come underneath wrist to wrist, back of hand to back of hand. And from here, I can not only see my target, but I can also see my front sight. All right, so this Harry's technique is the preferred method of flashlight engagement. All right, if you ever need to manipulate your weapon, speed reload or malfunctions clearance, all right, turn that light off, put it in your armpit, do what you need to do, and then back in action. Make sure we shut that light off. All right, so first will be not illuminated shots at about 20 yards. Stop. Okay, now we'll engage FBI. Okay, now we'll do Harry's. Speed reload under stress. Back in action.
Yeah, that flashlight, man. You're essentially shooting one-handed. Man, you can really feel the magnums a lot more with this 66 than you can with the 686. But uh, K-frame, much more concealable. Love this gun. Great gun.